Open your eyes, be wide awake. Sit up and listen to Monday's tape. Yes, sit up and listen to the Monday tape. In fact, for the first song, you could imagine you are sitting high on a little red wagon. Have you got a firm hold on the reins? Is the horse good and steady? Then off we go. Jolting up and down in the little red wagon. Jolting up and down in the little red wagon. Jolting up and down in the little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Now what's happened to the little red wagon? Now what's happened to the little red wagon? Now what's happened to the little red wagon? Won't you be my darling? One wheel off and the axle's dragging. One wheel's off and the axle's dragging. One wheel's off and the axle's dragging. Won't you be my darling? Jolting up and down in the little red wagon. Jolting up and down in the little red wagon. Jolting up and down in the little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Where did you travel on the little red wagon? Perhaps you went to see your grandmother. Joan is now going to read you some poems. The first is about grandmother's glasses. These are grandmother's glasses. This is grandmother's hat. Grandmother claps her hands like this and folds them in her lap. These are grandfather's glasses. This is grandfather's hat. This is the way he folds his arms and has a little nap. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. She whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. A knight and a lady went riding one day, far into the forest, away, away. Fair knight, said the lady, I pray have a care. This forest is evil. Beware, beware. A fiery red dragon they spied on the grass. The lady wept sorely. Alas, alas. The knight slew the dragon. The lady was gay. They rode on together, away, away. This is a song called Aunt Rhody and it's all about a goose. <laughs> Go tell and Rody, go tell and Rody, go tell and Rody, our old grey goose is dead. The one that she's been saving, the one that she's been saving, the one that she's been saving to make a feather bed. Go tell and Rody, go tell and Rody. Go tell Aunt Rody her old grey goose is dead She died in a mill pond, she died in a mill pond She died in a mill pond, a standing on her head Go tell Aunt Rody, go tell Aunt Rody Go tell Aunt Rody her old grey goose is dead The goslings are a crying, the goslings are a crying, the goslings are a crying, because their mammy's dead. So go tell Aunt Rody, go tell Aunt Rody, go tell Aunt Rody, our old grey goose is dead. Go tell Aunt Rody, go tell Aunt Rody. Go to land roadie, our old grey goose is dead. There was an old man called Michael Finnegan, he grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came out and blew them in again, poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. was an old man called Michael Finnegan He kicked up an awful dinnigan Because they said he must not sing again Poor old Michael Finnegan, begin again 
There was an old man called Michael Finnegan. He went fishing with a pinnigan. Caught a fish but dropped it in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan began again. There was an old man called Michael Finnegan. Climbed a tree and bopped his shin again. Took off several yards of skin again. Poor old Michael Finnegan began again. There was an old man called Michael Finnegan. He grew fat and then grew thin again. Then he died and had to begin again. Poor old Michael Finnegan began again. I think you probably joined in with those songs. Now sit back quietly and listen to these two nursery rhymes. Have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame and one for the little boy that lives in the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame and one for the little boy that lives in the lane. This is a little rhyme about a big animal. An elephant goes like this and that. He's terrible big, and he's terrible fat. He has no fingers, and he has no toes. But goodness gracious, what a nose! Look out, Mr. Elephant! Don't tread on Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spout. Down came the raindrops and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. This old man, he played one. He played knick knack on my drum with a knick knack paddy whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. He played knick knack on my shoe with a knick knack paddy whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick knack on my tree with a knick knack paddy whack. Give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. 
this old man, he played four, he played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack, paddy whack to give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played five, he played knick-knack on my hive with a knick-knack, paddy whack to give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played six, he played knick-knack on my sticks with a knick-knack, paddy whack to give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played seven, he played knick-knack on my demon with a knick-knack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played eight, he played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played nine, he played knick-knack on my line with a knick-knack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played ten, he played knick-knack on my hen with a knick-knack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Home. This time, we're going to sing the song again, but we're going to leave the numbers out. I wonder if you can put them in. This old man, he played, he played knick-knack on my drum with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played, he played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played, he played knick-knack on my tree with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played. He played knick-knack on my hive with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played. He played knick-knack on my sticks with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played. He played knick-knack on my devon with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played. He played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played. He played knick-knack on my line with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home, this old man, he played. He played knick-knack on my hen with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. your eyes open, stay wide awake Don't forget side two of the tape What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's Irish stew, Irish stew, sloppy semolina, sloppy semolina. No thank you, no thank you. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Irish stew, Irish stew, sloppy semolina, sloppy semolina. No thank you, no thank you. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? I rest you, I rest you, Sloppy Semolina, Sloppy Semolina, No thank you, No thank you, No thank you, No thank you. I'm sure the wolf in the next story would not choose to eat Sloppy Semolina for dinner. I think he would prefer a plump pink pig. This is the story of the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. 
As they grew bigger and older, their mother said to them, You are too big to live here any longer. You must go and build houses for yourselves. But do take care that the big bad wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs set off. We will take care that the wolf does not catch us, they said. Soon they met a man who was carrying some straw. Please will you give me some straw? asked the first little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the first little pig some straw. Then the first little pig built himself a house of straw. He was very pleased with his house. He said, Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. The second little pig and the third little pig went along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. Please will you give me some sticks? asked the second little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the second little pig some sticks. Then the second little pig built himself a house of sticks. The second little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. The third little pig walked on along the road by himself. Soon he met a man who was carrying some bricks. Please, will you give me some bricks? asked the third little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the third little pig some bricks. He worked very hard on his house, for he wanted it to be strong. The three little pigs were pleased with their houses and settled down to decorate them with flowers and leaves that they found in the woods. But the big bad wolf had heard that the pigs had left their mother and he decided to eat them up. So the very next day the wolf knocked on the first little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll puff, and I'll huff, and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf took a deep breath. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down. The first little pig ran away as fast as he could to the second little pig's house. Can I live in your house of sticks with you as the wolf has blown down my house of straw? Yes, yes, come in, said the second little pig. The next day, the wolf knocked on the pig's door. Little pig... Little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. So the wolf took a deep breath and blew. The house of sticks fell down. And the two little pigs ran as fast as they could to the third little pig's house. Can we all live in your house, please, because the wolf has blown our houses down? They cried. Yes, yes, come in, said the third little pig. The next day, the wolf knocked on the third little pig's door. Little pig? Little pig? Let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf took a deep breath and blew. The house of bricks did not move. So the wolf took another deep breath and blew as hard as he could. Still the house of bricks did not move. So the wolf took another deep breath and another, and another, until he was red in the face and very hot. Still the house of bricks did not move. 
the wolf got very, very angry because he was so tired and hungry. I will eat you all up today, shouted the wolf. I am going to climb on your roof and come down your chimney to catch you. When the pigs heard this, they were frightened and did not know what to do. Then they had an idea. They quickly hung a big pot of water on the fire to boil, and just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, they took off the cover and in fell the wolf. And that was the end of the wolf. The three little pigs were very happy and held a big party to celebrate the death of the big bad wolf. Before Joan and Patrick read some more poems, perhaps we could play a little game. I'm going to be silent for ten seconds, and I want you to say out loud all the nice things you like to eat. I wonder how many you can say before Joan starts her poem about a greedy boy. Are you ready? Go. The boy stood in the supper room, whence all but he had fled. He'd eaten seven pots of jam, and he was gorged with bread. Oh, one more crust before I bust, he cried in accents wild. He licked the plates, he sucked the spoons, he was a vulgar child. There came a burst of thunder sound, the boy, oh, where was he? Ask of the maid who mopped him up, the breadcrumbs and the tea. Under a stone where the earth was firm, I found a wriggly, wriggly worm. Good morning, I said. How are you today? But the wriggly worm just wriggled away. Said the first little chicken with a queer little squirm. I wish I could find a fat little worm, said the next little chicken with an odd little shrug. I wish I could find a fat little slug, said the third little chicken with a sharp little squeal. I wish I could find some nice yellow meal, said the fourth little chicken with a small sigh of grief. I wish I could find a little green leaf, said the fifth little chicken with a faint little moan. I wish I could find a wee gravel stone. Now see here, said the mother, from the green garden patch. If you want any breakfast, come here and scratch. The next song is called Archibald, and we think it's rather bouncy. See if you can hop, skip, or jump on the spot from the beginning of the song right the way through to the end. Are you ready? Go. My mother called me Archie, my father called me Ball. They didn't know what to call me, so they called me Archie Ball. Archie Ball, 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 King of the Zoos, Zoos, Zoos. Bought his wife, 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 a pair of shoes, shoes, shoes. When the shoes, shoes, shoes began to wear, 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 Archie Ball, 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 began to swear, swear, swear. When the swear, swear, swear began to stop, 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 Archie Ball, 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 bought a shop, shop, shop. When the shop, shop, shop began to sell, 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 Archie Ball, 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 bought a bell, bell, bell. When the bell, bell, bell began to ring, 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 Archie Ball, Ball, Ball began to sing, sing, sing. My mother called me Archie, my father called me Ball. They didn't know what to call me, so they called me Archie Ball. Monday is over, tomorrow is near Have your tape ready when Tuesday is here 